everyone and welcome to Antarctica. This is the third and final vlog of my trip to Antarctica and we are doing a mixture of landscape and wildlife photography today under some of the most incredible and challenging conditions I have ever experienced. We are going on our first zodiac of the day. Today is a cruise and we're on the lookout for whales and penguins and there's lots of birds here to photograph as well and I've got my hood on because it's currently raining a little bit. <laughs> So basically we had a change of plans, we were meant to do a zodiac landing but apparently the swell is a bit too dangerous for us to do that so we can't get off the boats onto land. So we're going to do a zodiac cruise instead. During the zodiac cruise we went to see a colony of chin strap penguins which are so cute. Brenda pointed out that it looks like they have upside down heads on their bodies just because of like that line they have on their jaw. It's very cute. <laughs> and it was really cool seeing them kind of jumping out of the water and rock climbing like this cliff face. <laughs> I don't know. They don't look very agile but they did a pretty good job climbing up on the cliff and there was a couple of penguins that were really really tentative to jump in the water and I was like waiting there with my lens for ages. It felt like a lifetime. It was probably only five minutes but my arms were killing me and I think I got a shot of it just about to jump into the water which is cool. I also finally got my whale shot I have been waiting for. So we just made it back from our first zodiac of the day. One of my favorite parts is oh, taking off all the layers. My favorite, favorite thing to take off is the life jacket. That thing it like kind of pushes up against your neck a little bit, feels a little bit awkward. But I'm very thankful that all these clothes keep me really warm. <laughs> I have to put you down. Now that we're back from our first zodiac of the day, I like to make myself a little coffee. I've got coffee in here and I'm heading to get hot water. <laughs> there are no toilets on Antarctica, so you can't even pee. So I like to have my coffee afterwards. <laughs> So it turns out that when I was putting my camera away at the end of the cruise, it must have clipped my bag and I accidentally unplugged the cable. So the next couple of clips that I film don't have any audio. I'll play some of them so you can see and I'll just talk over the top of them. <laughs> but I'm super upset that you don't have any audio because the lighting is so pretty. But the sun came out this afternoon. We had the most beautiful sunset to work with and I think this is the first time this entire trip that the sun's come out for us to take photos and almost everyone was out on deck taking pictures because it looked incredible. We just so happened to be by some really massive mountains too. So I took some photos with my 200 to 600 to just to get some like really close up mountain photos. There was also some whales that I was trying to get too. And then I ended up switching over to my 35mm lens, which I feel really sad that I haven't used that much on this trip, so I got a couple of photos with that. And now I've switched over to my 70 to 200, so I'll get even a few more shots with that as well, because I have to make the most of this beautiful sunlight. This afternoon we have a Zodiac landing, which means I will be taking my smaller backpack. That camera bag is so big, I don't wanna wear that. And I've got this little insert that I put in the bag as well. And pretty much all I take is my, this vlogging camera with the 20 millimeter in case I want a wide angle shot. I've been taking the 70 to 200 with my two times teleconverter. I've been finding that's really handy and I've got this really big cut on my hand because the air is so dry. But I will be doing a separate video when I'm back at home, sharing with you all the gear that that I've taken, the bags that I've taken, what I found helpful, what I think I wouldn't do again. So keep an eye out for that video too. I hope you don't mind, I'm gonna be uploading like a billion videos from Antarctica. Also you can see how tired I am. Oh, oh well. I feel like I've shot a fair amount of videos so I'm going to probably download you this SD card. So I've got fresh cards for the landing because I will do a lot more vlogging when we're there as well. So we're gonna be dropping boats in about 15 minutes or so. This is our last day of the trip. I was feeling a bit nauseous, so I didn't talk to the camera very much, sorry. But we woke up and we went on our last Zodiac cruise. We were in for a treat because the expedition team spotted a lonely emperor penguin hanging out on an iceberg. We weren't supposed to see this species of penguin, so it was very special getting photos of him. Later on, they caught him on the boat's CCTV cameras trying to board our ship. We found some sleepy whales again and a Weddell seal also chilling on an iceberg. I really like these two photos I got of it. 
There was a storm we had been running away from this entire trip and it is finally catching up to us. When we got off the Zodiac to visit a chinstrap penguin colony, we were greeted by this first seal who looks so majestic at the top of the hill living his best life in the snow. I thought I was going to vlog more in this landing, but as soon as we get there, it's raining, snowing, and the wind is so strong, it was pushing me over. It was super challenging taking photos because of the wind and all the rain, and even more challenging to capture video shots. If you plan on making a trip to Antarctica, I would recommend to bring a few pairs of good gloves that you can keep on while taking photos. Your gloves get wet so easily from the zodiacs and being in the rain and handling your wet cameras, and the last thing you want is not having Having any gloves to put on for a new landing or cruise trip. I'm really happy we got to see some slightly larger penguin chicks, although it was a bit sad seeing them so muddy. I was also waiting and waiting for a moment where the chicken adult would look towards each other for a photo I had in mind. There was also a comical moment when we looked to our right and three chinstrap penguins emerge from the water together and strut up the hill. They look like a little gentleman gang. <laughs> I took the photo in landscape orientation, but I think it works better as a portrait crop to bring more emphasis to our penguin gang here. So we are making our way back home. We missed out on the last day of going on an excursion because there is a storm coming and the first night on the Drake Passage was super rough and I ended up taking like a five hour nap and when I woke up I felt so much better but yeah it was rocking like crazy but they were saying that's about a like a four <laughs> so it's still not even that bad. Now we have what I classify as an actual Drake Lake there's like no swell, nothing. It feels amazing being out here and the sun is out too, which is so cool. They thought we were in like the calm in the middle of two storms, but luckily we never ended up hitting the second storm and fingers crossed we still don't. We were extremely lucky and today while we were sailing, we had a group of orcas. They came right up to the boat. I was on my 70 to 200 with a two times teleconverter and I couldn't zoom out enough to get them in the frame. That's how close they were to the boat. It was incredible. Incredible. It was so cool. They were having a lot of fun too. They were like jumping out of the water. I got some shots where the orca was like swimming upside down. I got some shots with the tails up in the air. And I really like the shots where they were a little bit more backlit on the left side of the boat. Um, so yeah, I got some shots where it's just like memories for myself. They're not really like artistic or <laughs> composed well. And I think maybe I got like one or two shots I was looking in the back of the camera. I think they look pretty cool. So, oh, that's a big swell there. And uh, hold on a little bit. But yeah, coming across orcas and like a group of orcas, they were with us for like 40 minutes just swimming around the boat. You could see them right when they were underwater too, so you could line up your shot for when they came out. We never expected to bump into them this close to Argentina because like we're almost there. We should be in the Beagle Channel by this afternoon in like a few hours. Even the staff, the people that have done these excursions numerous times were shocked at the orcas. So the reason I'm in Antarctica is because Brendan, who I'll introduce you to in a second, organized a floating expedition workshop to Antarctica with nine photographers that will be giving talks, giving photo critiques and helping out on location with cameras and compositions and settings and things like that, which I think is such a cool idea and I feel very thankful that he asked me to be on this trip as well. He wanted a variety of photographers to be here. I'm gonna introduce you to all the nine photographers, well eight photographers because I'm the ninth one, in a couple of different clips that I'll film over the next few days. So let's meet everyone. This is my friend Simon. Hello, nice to meet you all. What do you do Simon? Um, I'm a photographer, full-time photographer specializing in trees and woodland, mm -hmm. which is why I'm in Antarctica, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this is Courtney. Hello. <laughs> what do you do, Courtney? I'm a landscape photographer from the UK. Hello, everybody. I'm Erin Bobnick. I'm a wilderness landscape photographer based in California and Slovenia. Hi, I'm Rachel Talibart. I'm a seascape photographer from the UK. My name is Greg, I'm from Canada, and I'm here as a uh, travel and landscape specialist, which is, uh, yeah, right in my wheelhouse. And I miss Australia, by the way. Yes, yeah. you can come back. <laughs> yeah, I lived in Australia for one year, down in Kangaroo Island. This guy, yo! Yes. Hey, I'm Mike Mesville II, I'm out of Dallas. I chase tornadoes and photograph volcanoes. 
and dabble in landscapes too. So stoked to be here with you guys. My name is Brendan, and I'm a travel photographer. <laughs> no worries. I'm Jeff, and I'm a photographer. That's it. <laughs> I'm Jeff, and I like to ride bikes, and I sometimes take pictures of animals and landscapes. That is all I have for today's video. I'll have like a whole playlist for this area because I have a couple of videos that I'm working on for here. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you like the photos. Thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.